Hey guys, uh, really great to be here. Uh, love Korea. Uh, we've been uh, here just a few days, so I'm Benjamin Minku, founder and CEO of Elrond. Uh, and tonight I'll show you a bit about Elrond, what we've been trying to do, what it's all about, and we'll cover three things. First, you'll get an intro, some context on uh, what Elrond is about. Second, uh, we'll try to do a testnet demo. There are obviously some, some bugs always coming up, but uh, we'll try to, to do something very interesting. And then third, we'll try to show you one of the first dApps that are running on Elrond, uh, namely a game that we've built, and uh, we'll probably show it for the first time for you guys. So yeah, let's, let's start. Um, what is Elrond? Elrond is a new blockchain architecture designed from scratch to bring a 1000x improvement specifically in throughput or scalability and execution speed. It's based on two key innovations. One is adaptive state charting and the second one is secure proof of stake. The idea with adaptive state charting is you probably know by now of sharding. Sharding is a way of partitioning the network into smaller networks so that you can parallelize transactions. There are three uh, versions of sharding, each one increasingly more difficult. There's transaction sharding, network sharding, and then state sharding. And in Elrond, we're attempting to solve the most difficult of the problems and then also do adaptivity. Adaptivity means that you can start the network with one single shard and the shard can split as the network grows in real time based on a binary tree model and then uh, it can, by splitting, it can increase the throughput and it can also maintain the level of security needed in order to continue uh, working in the network. The second component is secure proof of stake and this means that you have proof of stake as a civil attack prevention mechanism. Uh, you have a very robust security mechanism uh, by, by employing random sampling of the consensus group. So this means that for any shard you have say 400 nodes that are eligible validators and from those 400 nodes you have 63 nodes that are randomly sampled and elected for each uh, round. A round is five seconds in a round, and then for each five seconds you have a new consensus group which is formed. Uh, you cannot predict who will be in the consensus group before it happens, and then you have a very limited time in order to um, bias the consensus or attack it. So. In addition to this security mechanism, we have also a reshuffling of one-third of the nodes in each shard at the end of each epoch. Um, and and this, this makes the whole sharding approach very, very secure uh, when you attempt to run it and also secure in the face of various attack vectors. Uh, the third um, characteristic of the, the uh, secure proof of stake consensus mechanism is that it's really fast. It's based on a variation of PPFT, which means that you have um, a latency of five seconds. So this is how fast your transaction is executed. But then the finality comes after uh, two or three blocks in order to have irreversibility and make sure that there is a really strong security in the network. Uh, so all this. Uh, gives us a starting point of 10,000 transactions per second. Just for comparison, right now Bitcoin processes 7 transactions per second and Ethereum somewhere at uh, 15 transactions per second. Um, we have a 5 seconds latency and then negligible cost. And the really cool stuff is uh, we're not only talking about it, but this is up and running right now in a test end, as you'll see. Uh, for context, we Elrond is built by a team of entrepreneurs, engineers, and researchers with very uh, deep technical backgrounds in computer science, 
uh, some of the, the guys in our team have uh, PhDs in computer science, they, have, they are Olympiads at AI competitions, math competitions, and so forth. But we also have a deep technical background. Uh, I, I've been part of the, the blockchain space since about 2013. Uh, I've been part of the NEM core team. So the whole team has, has a very, very interesting and uh, very effective experience to build something like a new blockchain architecture. And more than anything, I would say that our team is very, very hardcore. Um, we're a bunch of guys all coming from uh, Romania, uh, located in Romania right now. And we are working day and night to deliver this as fast as possible and get real adoption. Uh, this is the main focus for, for what we're trying to do right now. Um, some context, Elrod has started in at the end of 2017, um, October. That's the point where we are st we've started uh, formalizing the architecture and so forth. We've been working a lot uh, on, on stuff. In May 2018, we published the first technical paper with the first full formalization of adaptive state sharding and secure proof of state. In, um, July, we published, uh, released the first prototype uh, demonstrating that we could do cross our transactions. In November, we open sourced the prototype, and after open sourcing the prototype, we've actually started everything from scratch for the testnet in order to improve things even further after we had built the, the prototype. So we've achieved a 30x improvement in performance from prototype to testnet. Now, coming back to this point, uh, we've, in June, released, uh, closed the first private round, because until then, Elrond has been self-funded. We didn't need money, we've been in the space for a lot of time, so we could um, focus on, on building the stuff, and we've partnered with some really key players in the space in order to, to make sure that um, Elrond has a key distribution channel. Binance, Electric Capital, and NGC, made on the 11, some of you may know the, this, these people. We've also uh, partnered with some, some key people in the space and from outside the blockchain space because beyond building the technical architecture, per, perhaps the most important thing is that we want to really connect Elrond with real businesses and real startups to build on it. And we've done a few of these steps already. Some of you may know runtime verification. They are the, the ones, uh, you probably know Grigor Rosho. He has worked at NASA at some point and invented a thing called K-Framework for formal verification languages. Uh, a, a framework which was used at NASA to make sure that bugs are discovered before rockets take off. Uh, because essentially, if you don't discover them, a bug can be very, very costly. So he discovered that right now it's the same for blockchain. If you don't discover bugs and then people lose $150 million, as uh, some projects have, uh, it's very, very problematic. Uh, and so he's, he's built a framework. What we're doing with them is Grigore is first one of the advisors of L1, but more, more important, we're building Elrond's VM on K framework, which allows us to support three VMs at the same time. So we sort of got a meta VM, which makes sure that we're compatible with, e with the EVM part, so that any dApp that exists in the space can uh, really easily migrate to Elrond. We are also supporting the other VM, which is uh, Cardano's VM and which is built on LLVM. Uh, and then third and perhaps really important, uh, we are also supporting Wasp, uh, which will be a major uh, step forward. Typing DNA is a startup that is probably one of the leaders in typing biometrics. Uh, so we are partnering with them to explore some ways to use what they have and bring it to the blockchain space. They're also, they, they, they're also very interested in how they can integrate uh, what blockchain brings. Uh, Nash, you probably know. Uh, Smartville is one of the, yeah, the, the largest um, 
startup in Romania that is processing or offering uh, accounting services as a service. They have something like more than 50,000 companies uh, already onboarded and we're exploring some ways with them to integrate uh, blockchain for, for businesses directly. Uh, PSRL is uh, a research research uh, facility in Romania which is doing research for uh, perhaps the largest energy providers in Europe in order to offer them a solution and they are currently, they built some pilot projects on Ethereum but they do not have the scalability uh, needed for, for to be used in production so they are um, exploring, they are trying to use L1 right now, Chainlink you probably know and Holochain again. We have a lot of discussion with real businesses from around the world, uh, even here in Korea already, And but this process is a process that takes time. Uh, there, there are a lot of discussions where you first need to educate the companies where what, what can be done with blockchain and what can be done with a really scalable architecture that can be used in real world settings and we're doing this uh, really hard work uh, right now. So uh, yeah, I think I covered the most important point that I want to underscore is that right now all uh, of the things I've told you are available and running in the testnet. So we are already having a testnet that is live, processing more than 10,000 transactions per second with only five shards. And uh, we already have a wallet, an explorer, you will see all of that. Of course, this is a testnet, it's not the final version. There are still things to be improved, ironed out, tested even further. But this is the process where we are, and um, we are really, really excited for that. Um, another important point is that Following the private round that we've closed, we were the last Binance Launchpad project that has launched. Uh, there was a very rigorous process with Binance in what it means to, to do a Launchpad uh, listing. It took more than one and a half months, a lot, a lot of work on their front, uh, on our end but we are very excited to have partnered with them, especially from, from a distribution standpoint. And I don't think there's a need to underscore that Binance is really the largest exchange in the world and also the fastest growing. So, um, yeah, moving forward, a bit of what we're focusing on right now. Um, the next <coughs> sort of month is focused on uh, continuing with the testnet and in order to continue and uh, even let a lot of the community members engage, we are starting a battle of modes, which is very similar to what uh, the guys at Cosmos did with Game of Stakes, and people will be able to engage, I mean, run nodes, try to drag the network down, and receive a lot of rewards in the process. Uh, the thing, this, this will help us iron out a lot of the bugs, stress test the network, but move forward at a more rapid speed. We already have more than 100 people playing with the nodes, validators, running all of that, and uh, we are we're very, uh, very excited about that. Uh, we are going to publish the validator economics in probably the next days, um, as soon as we arrive home. But it, uh, it's important to note that at first, there will be a very significant reward for the validators which join uh, especially until we reach a certain point. So the, the rewards part is is will be 40-50% as long as we are not exceeding the 3000 nodes uh, point. And then after that it decreases. Um, we are also having a game that demonstrates that you can run smart contracts on a shard architecture. We, we have already done this uh, during the last weeks, but the game is very, very early, so we're just testing the first version. There are still some, some bugs, some, still, some things to iron out, but you'll see it's very, very exciting. And uh, ecosystem excited expansion, this is the main focus for the next month, uh, in addition to the technical side. So we'll be traveling around the world 
uh, we are in Korea. We've been in Korea for the last uh, week. We'll return and then we'll go to Japan. We'll visit uh, Singapore afterwards and then Dubai uh, in order to have discussion with some of the most relevant companies uh, in the countries, um, a lot of the, the exchanges and, and some of the funds. So not coming months. I think yeah, the, the you you already know that we are at ten thousand transactions per second. We are trying. We have already onboarded a payment gateway, which is the largest payment gateway in Romania. Payment processor that will essentially allow everyone who has L1 to use it both online and offline. Offline, we have about. 5,000 to 6,000 um, stores that will already accept it. Uh, so we're very excited about that. And um, these are some of the things we will be launching in the next months. The name service, uh, as you know, and the Dapp Store. The Dapp Store will be a place where you will be able to feature Dapps and uh, get a really, really meaningful audience. This is a much more uh, detailed overview on the roadmap. You'll be able to find this uh, on, on Binance Research if you search for Elrond. Um, then I'll just jump to a bit of um, comparison. Uh, we don't really focus too much on these comparisons, but still uh, we, we just want to show a direction here. So there is we have achieved a very, very significant improvement and this will translate into a um, very important impact into the space once we have the, the adoption that is needed. So that's the focus uh, right now. Um, this is the point where I'll uh, tell you a bit about the process that has been uh, started for validators. So we have a riot channel Everyone can join, uh, you can prepare for running a node. Uh, we have documentation for that. It's very, very easy, a lot easier than probably uh, most of the other networks. And as you'll see, the, the, the important points are that we have a large community. They're very excited and willing to, to help uh, with everything you need. So a few ideas about the, the validators. High economic incentives, especially if you join early and contribute. Uh, this is a very important uh, point. Low hardware requirements. You'll just need an average to a course view with four gigs of RAM and two gig hardware. Um, this is a very very important difference between uh, Elrond and probably other projects, and it will also allow a lot of other people which are not specialized in running nodes and validators to come in, join, play with the uh, technology and this is what we essentially uh, want. We have the testnet which is open source, I already mentioned that, and at, you'll find all the information at docs.album.com for how you can run a validator node with a step-by-step -step guide. In case you have any other questions, uh, feel free to join our <coughs> channel. This is the game. We'll uh, jump to it uh, in a second. Let me see. This is the part. So we can just jump to the, the demo and the game. Um, my, my colleague here will yeah, maybe uh, just speak what happens mm -hmm. in the background. Sure, sure. So we'll just do a demo of the uh, Yeah, should we start it? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, we start it, uh, another testnet because the other one is already with lots of uh, validators in. So uh, as soon as... Okay, so this... Uh, Can I ask one question before we go away? So, um, the token on Binance, is it like a ERC20 token right now, or is it the mainnet token that you're selling? Or? 
Uh, no, it's uh, it's the uh, Binance chain. Uh, oh, okay, it's a Binance chain. Yeah. And we'll be swapping over. Yeah. yeah, that's why my question is. Okay. Yes. Uh, yeah. So this is the test that we started to a few some some yeah. minutes ago. Some minutes ago. Uh, and uh, yeah, so you can see some information about the current state of the chain. Uh, currently, it hasn't been uh, stress tested with uh, transactions, but Ocean will uh, uh, soon uh, send some transactions. Um, yeah, down below you can see the latest blocks, the latest transactions, and a uh, uh, nice uh, graph to, show to, uh, uh, yeah. to see the TPS, the current TPS. Sure, I, I'll help you out a bit. So the, the idea is of this current testnet is that it's uh, the, running the latest, latest branch, which uh, is still on internal testing. Uh, this covers it, the smart contract execution on uh, this, the very first uh, picture, which is able to run smart contract execution on a, a asynchronous model. And uh, yeah, the, the reason that this is a the mic is not working. Yeah, I'll, I'll just jump to the game and uh, show you what's what's happening. So once you create a new account, once you go to CryptoBubbles.io, you can, uh, for example, test. Just a second, Adrian, maybe you can. Uh, yeah. So just creating a, a new user. out what game this is. It's a pretty popular game, uh, which we uh, added some, uh, uh, let's say, betting parts on it, where you, uh, when entering, you start with uh, uh, a bet, uh, and then this uh, everything goes into a pot, and the first three winners of the game uh, share the pot at the end. So it's, uh, yeah, it's uh, the famous game, I think uh, you might know. Um, yeah. yeah, I think uh, our servers are in, <laughs> not in the right place. <laughs> yeah, here you can see uh, this is the address uh, of the smart contract, uh, the uh, zero zero. Yeah, so we can see here um, uh, transaction plan hash the block. It was uh, added to uh, 29 seconds ago. From uh, whom? It's the uh, it's um, uh, the address of the player. And then uh, we had to form some aliases for the smart contracts in order to be able to move them around the shards uh, in, to optimize uh, how uh, how the uh, the load of the networks on each shard. Uh, the load of transactions, so we are using some aliases. This is the smart contract for uh, for for this game. Yeah, and you can see here some transactions. It was uh, that that one was the joining, and uh, currently the transaction fee is uh, zero. Uh, we are working on adding the the fees uh, right now for uh, the transaction and the smart contract. And this will probably come into the into the source code in the next uh, two weeks. Uh, yeah, I guess you didn't finish the game, so you, there's no more for you. Yeah. Uh, I think we can jump to the other. Part. Yeah, and, yeah. So this this was a separate uh, uh, separate. Uh, uh, a testnet just for the game, uh, and uh, now to stress the, the another testnet with the transactions. Lucian uh, is going. We have some uh, uh, mechanism to generate lots of transactions and uh, uh, throw them out uh, at the network. So this is one node. What you see here is the uh, logs that are coming out of a node. Uh, there is a block there, it's a transaction block. Uh, apparently, it doesn't have transactions in. It takes uh, like two more seconds. 
Yeah, so in the last one there were 300, yeah, and this one has 9,000 transactions in. Yeah, currently this is the live DPS, it's just uh, with uh, five shards and um, as soon as the uh, pollution launches more transactions and these get processed and it's, you can see it. Uh, the peak we've reached, uh, I think we tested uh, a few weeks ago in uh, Sibiu with 20 shards and we get got somewhere around 65,000. Of course, this is uh, not that uh, uh, relevant to talk about TPSs, but the uh, impressive thing is that it's currently live, it's working, and we're improving it as the days go by. Okay, yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah, so, just, just a, a few more points. So, the game, um, I'll if you can jump to the, the presentation again just to close. Okay. So the idea with the game is we've tried to take a game which was probably one of the most addictive games in a few countries that during the last years. It was number two or number three in Europe uh, and probably a few other countries and have uh, put this on the blockchain. What does it mean? We've not changed only the fact that you can interact with the game on the blockchain, but we have also changed the user experience. So that uh, you essentially can play by different rules. When you join, as Adrian mentioned, you have a price that you need to pay in order to join the game. But the really cool part is that you have a multiplayer game where if you eat someone on the screen, your colleagues, you get their money. So whoever wins after the first four minutes, when you have 100 players, gets a pretty hefty sum of money. This is much more interesting than the normal betting games that you see. And it's also not random. So you can optimize, learn some strategies, test. And the really cool part is that it's fun, really easy to play, and you can win some money in it if you're uh, better than your friends. This is, this is available again right now and the really cool integration part is that we've uh, added the economics to the game and the integration with the smart contracts. So whenever you join, there is a settlement layer that is done on the blockchain. When you uh, exit, there's again the settlement done on the blockchain. We will probably have more instant settlements in the next versions, but we are really, really excited to have this first one um, so soon after we implemented smart contracts. Um, going to end. So um, the the ending point is how you can engage with Elrond. It's nice that we're here. We have, as I mentioned, the 10,000 transactions per second is an important milestone. This is available in the test net right now. Uh, I, I think this is a really big deal to play, uh, you can play with it, see what it can do. So you can first engage by becoming a validator. There are a lot of rewards by doing that and we have more than 100 people already playing with the validator nodes. We will release the economics very soon and uh, are, are welcoming any kind of feedback on that front. Uh, you have all the documentation on docs.lron.com about the architecture, the validator part and smart contracts. Uh, you can also build a dApp. We are going to um, release some templates, uh, help the, the community to play with the smart contracts as well. Uh, this will come in the uh, coming weeks. Then you can, of course, uh, give us any feedback with respect to businesses. We are very, very much interested in getting the businesses in because up until this point, businesses have had a really hard time implementing or using blockchain because of its uh, throughput and performance problems. Now they can do it. And then sixth, uh, we have Telegram and a lot of social media channels. You can just uh, reach us on Telegram, just uh, message me, whatever feedback you have. Uh, we are really excited to, to be here and share all of this with you. Thanks a lot.